Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for us. I'm your host, Jennifer Slattery, and after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Isaiah 43, 1. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus, and we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. What happens when a writer and former history teacher goes toe-to-toe with his best friend, a nationally touring stand-up comedian? Total carnage, that's what. Two men enter, and two men leave, because that's how it works. (laughs) Actually, you get hilarious, real, and insightful conversations about life, history, culture, faith, and everything in between. Join me, comedian Johnny W., and my pal, author and speaker John Driver for Talk About That at lifeaudio.com or wherever you get your podcasts. Today's Bible verse is Isaiah 43, 1. But now, thus says the Lord, your creator, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have called you by name. You are mine. I've spent a good portion of my life battling anxiety, and I used to believe if only I could avoid or secure, depending on the situation, a particular outcome, then I would be happy, content, and perfectly at peace. Yet I came to realize many times I was anxious despite my circumstances. I wasn't battling fear because of anything in the present, but instead I was battling what I feared might happen in the future. And all my attempts to finagle security only left me feeling increasingly insecure because they kept me obsessed on my what if scenarios. You and I make lousy gods and our souls inherently know this which is why turning to ourselves, our solutions, our perspectives, our ability or lack thereof to solve something will only increase our angst. When we turn to reflect and depend upon and trust in our all-powerful creator, however, he begins to fill our souls with his supernatural, unshakable peace. Reflecting upon verses such as today's can help displace the lies that cause our inner angst, while in essence, rewiring our brains with truth so that our thoughts become more reflective of reality. Isaiah 43 verse 1 begins with a simple introductory phrase, but now. This indicates a change of direction from what we read in the previous chapter. Isaiah 42 verse 22 states, but this is a people plundered and looted, all of them trapped in pits or hidden away in prisons. They've become plunder with no one to rescue them. They have been made loot with no one to say, send them back. And that's true for all of humanity apart from God. Without his intervention, we are all plundered by our spiritual enemy, the devil. And we are imprisoned by sin, deception, and the pain from our past. We may at times feel helpless, as if there is no one to deliver us or fight for us. But then, in the middle of our despair, God speaks, saying, but now life will be different. Yes, he will deal with our sin as he did with the ancient Israelites so long ago, but not in harshness or anger or rejection. Instead, he draws us close to set us free. That's why Jesus, God's son, came, died, and rose again. And he tells us, do not fear, 
This is something he repeats throughout scripture, but not to guilt, shame, and condemn us, rather to remind and encourage us each time he's saying, it's going to be okay. I've got you. And notice how he addressed himself. Thus says the Lord, your creator. How's to reflect on what that means? He is both the creator and our creator, the giver and sustainer of life, greater than any health, financial, or life challenge we can encounter. He created us because he wanted us to exist. Revelation 4.11 tells us he created all things, me and you included, for his pleasure. This means you and I bring the God of all creation pleasure. And before you discount this by thinking this truth applies to everyone else but you, to those who maybe worship God more faithfully or are more spiritually mature, notice how God also addressed the original readers. He called them Jacob and Israel, two names for the same man. If you're familiar with Old Testament scripture, you may know some of the history surrounding both names. Jacob means deceiver. And that was precisely what he, pre-God's intervention, was. He manipulated his father on his deathbed for material gain. And God using this name when addressing his people provides a beautiful assurance of grace for all of us when we mess up and act like deceivers, manipulators, and users. But notice God also referred to them as Israel, the name given to Jacob after he had a personal encounter with God, a wrestling match, if you will. Israel means to strive or contend with God. I'm pretty sure that resembles all of us at various points in our lives, especially when we land in painful messes we fear we'll never get out of. We cry out to him, hoping he hears us battling our doubts, our anger and pain, longing to trust him, but not certain we have the faith to do so. And how does God respond? He reminds us that we belong to him, that we're his creation, telling us not to be afraid. Why? Because he has redeemed us. We have a redeemer and his name is Jesus. That means we are not and never will have to face our troubles or even our battle against sin alone. We belong to the God of all creation who knows each and every one of us by name. That's an indication of relational intimacy and reveals the heart of our God for us. We belong to him. To us, he says, you are mine. God says not to fear, not because our world at times won't feel frightening, but because he formed us, he knows us, our biggest mistakes, our greatest achievements, who we once were and who we're becoming. He redeemed us. He knows us by name and he calls us his own. Let's pray. Holy Father, remind us of those truths. Remind us that you know everything about us. You know our greatest mistakes, our greatest failures, our worst sins, our deepest regrets, our deepest hurts, our fears, the things we wrestle with in the middle of the night. You know those places where we want to trust you, but we struggle to do so. And you see it all and you love us. We are fully known and wholly loved every part of us. And you redeemed us. You have called us by name. You call us yours We praise you for that. Help us to rest in that. When we're afraid, help us to wrestle, Lord, because it's when we wrestle that we find you. Help us to, in our wrestling, press towards you. We love you and we praise you. It's in the name of your Son, our Savior and Redeemer, Jesus Christ, that we pray. Amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. world can feel chaotic and uncertain, but we don't have to live enslaved to fear. Christ has promised you and I his peace, and throughout scripture, he has provided powerful truths and practical steps to help us experience greater freedom. I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, inviting you to join me and my team as together we learn how to starve our fears and grow our faith. 
subscribe at lifeaudio.com.